Welcome to the session, Pade Kepiche, The Scriptwriter's Story. Please join me in welcoming Sachin Kundalka, Mahesh Jatani, Shashi Mittal, and Ruplina Bose. This is part of the Baska Basha series. Yeah, sorry. Can, can people hear me? Yeah, yeah, sorry. This is the Nepal. I welcome everyone. It's early in the morning, but we're going to have a very interesting session. We have a very interesting set of speakers, speakers who, are, who have written screenplays. And as we know that screenplay is the core and foundation of a film. So um, I welcome everyone. And my first question would be that can any story be made into a screenplay? Mahesh? Uh, I was hoping Sachin would answer that. So we'll go from uh, the middle and then we'll go there. Okay. Well, uh, if you ask me, uh, there would be certain stories that immediately speak, speak to me as a screenplay. Yeah. That this, this would make, make a wonderful, wonderful film. film. And, and some, some that would not. Now, maybe, I, I don't know, some other writer or director may feel otherwise. So I can't say that this kind of a story would make a great screenplay and this wouldn't, because it defies anything. One would just automatically assume that, you know, uh, something with, uh, with, 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 uh, with uh, uh, a more fluid uh, um, uh, space uh, where the action moves in different spaces and different times would make an excellent screenplay. But some of the greatest screenplays have been written about two people you, you know, in a restaurant or a room, and uh, you know, one can think of so many films that are being made with these kind of uh, restricted environments. So it's very hard to say uh, what would make a good screenplay. I think I would like to believe that it's up to uh, you know individuals at their aesthetics of cinema. What what are their sensibilities towards cinema? Whether some uh, story appeals to them cinematically or not. Uh, Sachin, you are a writer and writer-director, which means that you see the story from the core, where there's nothing till the end and the, the pr entire process of shooting and editing. What would you say to this? Like? Well, I don't think every story can be uh, made into a screenplay. I used to think like that when I was a student of cinema. Uh, what happens is a germ comes to your mind. And uh, you have to check on two things. One, is it visual enough, uh, the germ? Uh, a could a film be made out of it completely? Also, that thin storyline that you started traveling with, does it have an immense amount of elasticity to sustain and twist and travel through the entire space and time? Because screenplay, cinema is about space and cinema is about time. You create space and maneuver that space with time, cinematic time. Uh, often, what used to happen when I used to, you know how you're a film student, one day you want to make your first feature film and then uh, in a month you write five films. I uh, graduate, I will write these five scripts and I will make Bombay and make a film in all films. Kind of a thing. Uh, you can't make them into screenplays. They, you often stop at 10th scene, uh, 15th scene or 2nd scene and you realize that no, it's not happening. Only few stories could be made into screenplay. If they are original stories, uh, so I, I, I'm not of that opinion. I don't think it, it, it shows off if the, if the film has a small germ and it's uh, completely kind of uh, it, wrong space you develop it. It's not good for a film, I think. Okay. Actually, television writers ke liye totally different. We make a story to screenplay. If there germs in it, we can create it. And we can create it as much as we want to. Yeah, technique hum seek chuke. <laughs> Your master said that. <laughs> yeah, so as a television screenplay writer, I would say, agar hume koi cheez dehi di jati hai ki ye screenplay mein likhni hai, so then we can write. Us ek kamre mein hum hospital bhi create kar dete hain aur us ek kamre mein hum dance bar bhi create kar dete hain. <laughs> Mahesh, um, adaptation is an art in itself, and you have adapted your own work from theater, from, from a play into cinema. How does that change the story and the form? Uh, well, uh, first of all, I would say that the, the hardest adaptation is from uh, a stage to cinema. I, I think uh, from novel to cinema is probably yeah. easier to, to, to do. Medium, yeah. yeah. In this, I, I would like to quote Alfred Hitchcock because he's adapted quite a few plays in 
into film, and uh, some of his films are also, in a sense, uh, uh, confined in a way uh, 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 we assume theatre is, which actually also, that's a different story anyway. What he said was that when you buy a play to make into a film, what you're really buying is its construction, right? The way it is constructed. That's how it lives. That's why it is. A, it has its dramatic energy. And he says that if you make the mistake of opening it out, now I'm paraphrasing. This was his quote. Uh, there is a danger that you will lose what you bought that material for. So if you look at some of his films, uh, which were made from uh, plays like uh, Dial M for Murder, uh, that he actually maintained a, a, a lot of the construction of the uh, uh, original play, and yet infused it with his cinematic genius. Uh, there's some scenes that are so memorable and so cinematic in that, like the, when, uh, you know, the, the Grace Kelly character is being murdered, that she's reaching out for the scissors. Uh, the way he shot it, it's the same scene in the play. Uh, but it's brilliant cinema. It could never be depicted on stage the way he, he did it. So I, I was also of the belief that you, you know certain um, plays may not lend themselves to uh, to cinema. But I think you know there is some uh, some truth in the fact that cinema is a director's medium, and I think the director. Uh, will definitely take possession of that uh, 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 material and, in a way, translate it into a screenplay in, in as part of his or her vision. Uh, so, it being a dire director's medium, uh, there is, there shouldn't, there ought not to be a danger that you lose out on cinematic uh, values just because you're taking a play. Having said that, I would say that I didn't succeed very well in, in con uh, converting because I think when I look at uh, a film version of my play, like Mango Su play that I directed, uh, and I also wrote the screenplay, I feel it just reeks of its theatrical origin. The dialogue seems so overblown and overwritten in cinema, and I just didn't understand the grammar. But then that was my shortcoming as a director, uh, not so much as a writer. Right? Uh, when Pamela Rooks made Dance Like a Man into a film, uh, she brought in a lot of film drama into it because she's not, uh, well, she has done theater, but she was uh, a, a, a film person. She had experience. But at the same time, because I wrote, uh, co wrote the screenplay, when I look at the film again, uh, the, the scenes which remain the same as are in the play are the ones that don't work. And so they work brilliantly on the stage, uh, but on cinema they just seem so overrated. And I now, of course, I think I've understood the uh, uh, the, uh, the language of cinema and how capable it is of saying things uh, which need not be uh, uh, stated. Uh, a lot of things it can uh, manage beautifully to say things that are left unsaid. Without the words. That's right, without the words. Okay. What about, what, what would you say about adapting? Adaptation from another form? Uh, I have never done it myself. I, uh, I, so I have no experience and it would be wrong to give opinions unless you have certain amount of experience because uh, I won't do that. I, I kind of originate stories for my own films. Uh, I write stories, screenplay and dialogues and I direct them. So I'm kind of self-indulgent. I'm in my own cocoon and I'm maneuvering my own films with that uh, certain amount of uh, discipline and uh, method that I've devised for myself. But apart from that, generally I don't have any opinion and it's not good to give generalized opinion on this because each on his own way uh, and also the experience that one would go through. Like Mahesh, uh, candidly, but uh, nice of him he admitted, uh, it takes, uh, it, uh, thanks Mahesh because uh, many, many theatre people have been getting into film medium and it takes a film or two to get into it and uh, it, it's just a matter of practice. Cinema is not completely, you know, something that nobody else can do and only cinema people can do. Anybody can do it. It's just that you have to be honest with yourself and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Shashi, tell us about the audience for, I mean, how does the audience define television writing? See, uh, the basic difference of television uh, audience and uh, cinema audience is 
कि सिनेमा के टिकट्स के लिए आपको अपने बच्चों पे या हस्बैंड पे डिपेंडेंट होना पड़ता है और टीवी का रिमोट आपके अपने हाथ में होता है लेडीज के सिनेमा हस्बैंड पे डिपेंड होना पड़ता है हस्बैंड या बच्चों पे मतलब दे बाय यूजुअली या या दैट्स व्हाट आई हर्ड नॉट राइट एंड बट टीवी का रिमोट एंटायरली लेडीज के हाथ में होता है लेकिन इजिली टेल देर हस्बैंड की नहीं नहीं अभी दो मिनट रुको खाना बाद में मिलेगा पहले ये सीन खो जाने दो या ये शो हो जाने दो एंड हस्बैंड भी आराम से वेट करते हैं उसके लिए बट अगर फिल्म देखने जाना हो तो दे यूज मतलब अकेले नहीं जा सकती लेडीज दे विल रिक्वेस्ट देयर फ्रेंड और हस्बैंड और बच्चे और समथिंग टेलीविजन के लिए मैं अकेली हूँ घर में या कहीं भी हूँ आई कैन इजिली टेक माई रिमोट एंड आई कैन वॉच सो द ऑडियंस थोड़ी अलग हो जाती है टेलीविजन की और फिल्मों की तो अकॉर्डिंगली क्योंकि आई ऑलवेज बिलीव कि आप जो कुछ बनाते हो लिखते हो जो कुछ भी करते हो आप उस ऑडियंस के लिए लिखते हो जो उसे देखने वाली तो मुझे उनके हिसाब से पढ़ा लिखा होना चाहिए जो मेरी ऑडियंस है अगर मैं यूथ को एक ऐसा डेली शो दिखाऊंगी तो मैं पूरी तरह फ्लॉप हो जाऊंगी सिनेमा में और या मैं टीवी में मैं ऐसा यूथ दिखा दूंगी जो वो देखने वाली ऑडियंस रिलेट ही नहीं करती है तो मैं वहाँ फेल हो जाऊंगी सो मेरा उतना एजुकेशन होना चाहिए जितनी मेरी ऑडियंस को मैं जानती हूँ उतना मेरा लिखा मेरे लिखने में वो पावर आएगी कि मेरी ऑडियंस मुझसे रिलेट कर सके तो दैट्स द सेम थिंग आई बिलीव कि आप किसी भी चीज को अडाप्ट करें या जैसे अगर आप एक नॉवेल को भी अडाप्ट करते हैं जो हमने किया अपने एक नए शो में जहाँ हमने शरद चंद्र जी का नव विधान नॉवेल है उसको अडाप्ट किया बट उसको हमने रीमेक नहीं किया उस तरह से उसको पूरी तरह बदल के लिखा क्योंकि मेरी ऑडियंस वो नहीं है जो नव विधान पढ़कर या उस आर्ट को समझ सके मेरी ऑडियंस वो है जिसका सिंपलर वर्जन जो क्रक्स लेकर मैं उन्हें बता सकूं तो देन ओनली देल अप्रिशिएट तो ये एक नॉलेज होने से मुझे लगता है जैसे आपने बोला है इट्स अ प्रैक्टिस जैसे जैसे आप उस मीडियम को लिखते हो लिखते हो आपको समझ में आने लगता है कि इस मीडियम के लोग आपसे क्या चाहते हैं एंड देन यू मास्टर ऑन दैट पर्टिक कोई भी पूरी तरह मास्टर तो नहीं हो सकता फिर भी फेल होते हैं हम लोग लेकिन फिर भी थोड़ा बहुत रेशियो ऊपर चला जाता है राइट स्क्रीन प्ले ऑल्सो कम्बाइन द विजुअल द साउंड प्लॉट मूवमेंट द कैरेक्टर बट येट स्क्रिप्ट और स्क्रीन प्ले इज नेवर इट्स नॉट कंसिडर्ड राइटिंग और लिटरेचर वट वुड बी योर कॉमेंट्स ऑन दैट इट्स नॉट राइटिंग इट्स नॉट लिटरेचर डेफिनेटली इट्स अ वेरी वेरी See, we have to accept that it's a temporary document. It's just the blueprint of the house that would be made. Uh, what happens is you carefully construct a screenplay. There's a method to it. Uh, there's a systematic way and discipline that goes into it. It takes huge amount of time to finish a film screenplay because uh, uh, two ways: either it's written singularly by a, by a, by a single person, or there's a collaborative effort on it while you are constructing a screenplay for cinema. uh you have to accept the fact that when the film goes on floor shooting the film is a process of rejecting that screenplay if you have to completely start uh, dissecting and rejecting what has been written wordily on paper words and then convert them to images so it has such a short life in terms of process that i don't know we should uh, even expect it uh that it should get a you know a tag of literature per se uh, it's a technical document it's a way, it's not like a script of a play because a script of a play it is i mean it's, it's a permanent document out of that one script of a play many versions of that play would be generated different directors would adapt it in different ways but screenplay is written for one film for one director and it's very temporary so uh, no way it's going to be literature the screen play writers can't take them Self too seriously yeah. for being called as writers and yeah. you, 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 I, you know it's a technical document at the end of the day. Unfortunately, uh, what happens is there's a lack of training spaces to write a good screenplay. In our film schools, in FTIR, for example, the much neglected course is of screenplay writing. Uh, there's a serious lack of training spaces on screenplay level. I feel we don't have. trained screenplay writers we are still in 80s and 90s sensibility when we create scripts for indian films we cinema has gone ahead our subjects have advanced uh, the perspective of audience towards cinema is slowly changing but the way we uh, construct the screenplays is just very classical and same very filmy i would say mm-hmm. would you like to add something to that yes uh, i agree that uh, the screenplay has uh, 
a purpose. It is functional in the sense that it's almost like a blueprint of a building, that once a building is constructed, then, you know, the blueprint is just an archaic, it's, it's just a museum piece. But having said that, I feel that you need the mastery of literature without the ego of being a, lit a, a, a writer. Uh, okay. You don't need the yeah. ego, but you need the mastery. <laughs> because, you, you know, every word that you put in communicates something to the director, in the sense you're writing for the director and the producers. Uh, 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 in, in that sense, they are your, your readers, in that sense. And they come from a very, very specific intent, unlike the readers of a novel, let's say, uh, where they come to explore and to go with you on whatever journey you want to take them. Whereas a director or a producer is looking at the script and saying, can I take this with the journey I want to make? Right? So in that sense, as a writer, I feel you have to be very, very crafty. Because if you can't communicate very simply and lucidly on page, and that requires great mastery. Uh, as one writer had said, he'd sent a very, very long letter to his friend, and he wrote a PS saying, I'm so sorry, I do not have the time to write you a short letter. <laughs> right? And that's what, so they, these are assumptions we make. Uh, that, you know, uh, to, uh, to write uh, expansively and to write uh, with flowery language, uh, etc., requires greater mastery. I think it requires greater mastery uh, to, to conquer brevity. And uh, that's what you need in a screenplay. It needs to be very specific, it needs to be brief, and it needs to be travel friendly because the director and the producers are going to take it with them. They're not going with you. Right. And it's also a common notion that nobody reads screenplays. Nobody reads screenplays. Yeah, that's that's what one thing ki agar apko screenplay padne diya jaye aur ek novel padne diya jaye, screenplay koi itne do scene ke baad ek general audience bore ho jayegi. But usi cheez ko jab wo parde par dekhti hai, to then they can enjoy. So that's the difference between literature and screenplay. Because wo likha hi us tarah gaya hai. कि एक डायरेक्टर या एक फिल्म को बनाने के लिए उस चीज को लिखा गया है टेक्निकल टेक्निकल यू कैन्ट रीड इट टू एन्जॉय एंड इवन लिटरेचर यू कैन एन्जॉय और टेलीविजन का थोड़ा सा ये फायदा हो जाता है कि टेलीविजन इसे राइटर्स मीडियम वहाँ पे स्क्रीन पे जो लिखा हुआ होता है वो डायरेक्टर के लिए बाइबल हो जाती है, so that's the advantage of being television screen play writer, जहाँ आपको डायरेक्टर फोन करके पूछेगा कि मैं ये बदल दूँ या नहीं बदल दूँ, जो कि फिल्म में डायरेक्टर आपसे बात भी नहीं करता कि तूने लिख के मुझे दे दिया उसके बाद बात तेरी खत्म हो गई, now let me handle it, so that's basic little difference between television screen play. Ramesh, your what about authorial control? Because your plays have been performed in you know, we were just talking about it, you know, all over. I mean, how do you, like, let go at some point? When well, it comes with a job. If you don't know how to let go, you shouldn't write plays. It's certainly not screenplays, I think. Because uh, these formats, they live in their interpretation, right? So, as a playwright, yes, I may have control over the first production because I insist on it uh, even before g getting into an agreement with the director. Uh, that I would want to sit in on the rehearsals, you normally put a clause saying that the writer has the, uh, uh, the right but not the obligation to come into rehearsals. Uh, but that, I guess, I can only negotiate now because of, uh, you, you know, my uh, standing as a playwright. Uh, but uh, usually this is also not the case. And uh, as Shashi rightly pointed out in uh, cinema, uh, the T-boy is more uh, indispensable than the screenwriter on the set. Uh, in fact, you, you know, without the T-boy, uh, the shooting will come to a standstill. You know, the technicians, the actors, everyone's going to get tired. But if the screenwriter is around saying, wait a minute, that's not what I meant. Shut up! You know, go back to your corner. You know? So it is, uh, and I really have, I, I can see what you say uh, makes a lot of truth because television is a writer's medium. And I'm not saying it from experience, I'm saying it from watching television series. That the ones that you feel brilliant and you're, you're completely engaged in, it's the writing that makes it so. Also, television is something which you constantly improvise, uh, right? I mean, yeah, uh, the ek aur jo bahut bada fark hai television or cinema mein, ki cinema mein aapko pata hota hai ki meri kahani yaha shuru ho kar yaha khatam ho gai. 
और आप उस तरह से फिर कहानी शुरू करते हैं हम जब कहानी शुरू करते हैं तो हमें भी नहीं पता होता कि हम तीन महीने बाद क्या कहने वाले हैं और कई बार मुझे ऑडियंस आके पूछती है कि उस पर्टिकुलर शो में आप अब क्या करोगे तो उस वक्त मुझे राज की तरह कहना पड़ता है देखिए अभी आ, क्या होता है आगे आगे जबकि मुझे भी नहीं पता होता कि मैं आगे क्या करने वाली हूँ आई एम ऑल्सो थिंकिंग कि मुझे इसे किस मोड की तरफ ले जाना चाहिए कई बार देखते देखते रियलाइज होता है कि ऑडियंस को ये अच्छा लग रहा है एक ये एडवांटेज हो जाता है हमारे लिए कि ऑडियंस को जो अच्छा लग रहा है हम उसे खींच सकते हैं या उसको कहानी को मोड़ सकते हैं कहीं भी जो फिल्म में एक बार आपने छाप दिया तो उसके बाद वो वही आएगा चाहे ऑडियंस को पसंद आए या ना पसंद आए यहाँ हमारे पास अपनी भूल को सुधारने का मौका बहुत बार हमें ऑडियंस देती है और ऑडियंस आती है कई बार शो एकदम हिट होके तुरंत फ्लॉप भी हो जाते हैं कई बार एकदम फ्लॉप से शुरू होके अचानक हिट हो जाते हैं बिकॉज एक टेक्निक आपको समझ में आ जाती है कि यहाँ मैं रॉन्ग जा रही हूँ और आप उसको सुधार सकते हैं जो सिनेमा में आपको अलाउड नहीं कोई स्कोप भी नहीं है वहाँ आपको राइट ही होना पड़ता है या फिर आप रॉन्ग हो जाते हैं Well, uh, I I think we don't we we yes of course we think about the audience when I'm narrating the story through the screenplay because it's for the audience that I'm making the film. But unlike television, I'm not so obsessed by what audience wants when I'm when I'm writing a film. It's my own story, and it's also my effort to change their tastes. You know what's happening last five years? The different kinds of films that we are. watching now if you are you are part of it thank you so much if you are supporting that cinema uh, every film is pushing the card like towards there's an effort being done from audience also and i want my audience to slightly make some more effort to access my own film i'm not going to spoon feed them so when i'm writing the screenplay i don't really find an easy way out i don't make it so diluted that my audience will completely accept it i definitely know that it's going to be tough and so there's a support of marketing department there's a support of publicity actors i choose to work with it's an uh, comprehensive support that i take to uh, reach out with my thought it's not so diluted it's not so easy as well so audience yes it's on my mind but i don't i'm i'm not obsessed by their presence i'm more obsessed by what i want to say and how i want to say it uh, so it kind of liberated kind of a free space a uh, more artistic space when you're constructing a a good screenplay it, uh, also it's very difficult you work months and months and you finish a script and you realize that uh, no it's not working you just you just chuck it out you keep it in the cupboard and you never make films out of them uh, so it's not that you start writing a script and you end up making a film on it i've never done it so many scripts i've written and i've, I've never made film on them uh, practical difficulties and the most importantly many times you realize that no it's it's not the best shot that you've given it a uh, huge amount of money the film making requires huge amount of money it's a capital intensive art like architecture so you can't be indulgent you can't be only creative sit and decide that oh i have written it and so the film should be made nobody will buy it mahesh what about theater because theater is also i mean unlike a novel or unlike a film where you know you can be you can be alone you can watch it you know through a dvd a theater is also like a collective catharsis in a way right you go to the audience how has it changed in india over the years <laughs> it's changed considerably i i think it's changed in form uh, talking about the gay rights of the 70s and uh, 80s uh, that uh, you know there were these very very classic in design in the sense that there were characters who go through a certain journey and there's this very clear cut resolution as to the outcome of of their journey and their conflicts and etc etc uh, and they would largely be static in their environment in their maison scene uh, but they would rely very heavily on dialogue uh, and that's where the mastery was uh, but i think today as we as audiences it's because if we writers we're also the audience the word itself has become so old fashioned because audience suggests the audio part of uh, uh, the section uh, whereas now we have i think the hindi word is closer to what our audiences are this darshako right 
in the sense we are a very visual medium. Uh, that uh, with the advent of cinema and television, and even more so with the electronic uh, image coming in, that we live with images, and the language we understand best is that of one image next to the other. That what is the image that follows the one? tell our stories. stories. And in that sense, that's the reason why cinema and television are so uh, popular. Now, coming to your question about theater, I think it has changed because of this, is that it is getting more, uh, uh, it is using the spatial, uh, 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 you know, aspect of the spatial temporal medium that uh, theater is, uh, that a lot of uh, Theater is now called performance art, right. uh, in the sense that you know you, the li lines between dance and music and drama are all blurred. Uh, in a sense, we're going back to our traditions because in Indian tradition, you, you know, uh, the word natya, for instance, is used for drama and dance. Right. You know, so dance, drama, and music were always integrated, and I think we uh, theater is getting more and more towards that again. And this whole verbal based drama was a kind of uh, European well-made play kind of, uh, uh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Sakshi, we were talking earlier and we were saying that how people are always intrigued that, uh, you know, ke piche ke log exactly kya karte hai. Would you like to talk about that? Yeah, Parde ke piche mein do such jo maine ab tak note kiye कि जो लोग पर्दे के आगे काम करते हैं उन्हें क्योंकि टेलीविजन लोगों के जीवन का इतना इंटीग्रल पार्ट हो जाता है उनके ड्राइंग रूम में कि जब वो उन कैरेक्टर से मिलते हैं तो उन्हें लगता है ये बिल्कुल वैसा ही है तो जब वो उसे पर्दे के पीछे देखते हैं तो उनके लिए शॉकिंग होता है कि जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर दिया और बात हमने मैं कहूँ की संध्या खाना बना लेती है क्या संध्या को खाना बनाना आता है पर हम तो समझते थे कि संध्या को खाना बनाना नहीं आता बिकॉज एज उसका कैरेक्टर का पोर्ट्रेल उसी तरह से हुआ है लेकिन सच्चाई उससे अलग होती है बिकॉज वो दीपिका सिंह है जो खाना बनाती है और वो संध्या है जो पर्दे पर खाना बनाना नहीं जानती और जो पर्दे के पीछे काम करने वाले लोग होते हैं उनसे अक्सर पूछा जाता है कि अच्छा आप राइटर हैं तो आप क्या करते हैं क्योंकि डायलॉग्स तो संध्या बोलती है वो तो कैमरा में आता है तो कई बार हम जो जिन ऑडियंस की बात करें उनके लिए स्टोरी स्क्रीन प्ले डायलॉग इन तीन चीजों को डिफाइन करना ही बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है कि स्टोरी कैसे अलग होती है स्क्रीन प्ले कैसे अलग होता है और डायलॉग कैसे अलग होता है बहुत ज्यादा समझ जाते हैं तो डायलॉग समझ जाते हैं तो कई बार मेरी अपने डायलॉग राइटर से लड़ाई होती है क्योंकि हर आदमी तारीफ करता है उसके डायलॉग क्या बढ़िया बोलती है मैं कोई ये बोलता ही नहीं कि उस सीन के लिए मैंने आपको उतने अच्छे डायलॉग दिए थे ताकि आप लिख सके तो सारा क्रेडिट एक राइटिंग राइटिंग में डायलॉग राइटर ही लेके चला जाता है आई दैट टेलीविजन Sometimes I uh, find myself in a position of advantage and disadvantage, both of being a writer director. Uh, the fact that I write my own films, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing one role till I uh, go on the floor with the script. And the moment I go on the floor to shoot my film, I'm completely uh, rejecting or uh, fighting or kind of having a very uh, bashful dialogue with the writer inside me. I'm questioning myself. So I find myself in a complex situation when I uh, when I start the film actually when I go on the floor uh, I hate myself for, for for writing what I have in my hand. Uh, also I change it completely. I I I, I don't retain much. Uh, I just take the foundation, the gist of what what was there. Uh, see because screenplay of cinema, screenplay it's not about the lines. It's not about dialogues. The dialogues are a part of it. What do your characters speak? is not a screenplay uh, the whole notion of where it happens how it happens and how you are going to control the pace of the film and the space of the film it's a very difficult job for a director uh, with his own vision and uh, for me it's conflicting doing both the job at the same time i wish i don't write my films anymore i'm going to do that story i'm going to have a writer on the board associate with him but there's a nasty writer inside me i can't work with another writer
I have okay. to do it myself. So I, I'm in that zone right now. Slowly, I think I'll stop writing films and I'll only direct films. Uh, Mahesh, uh, earlier, uh, of course, Aristotle talked about my nieces. And now, can we say that like, cinema is in a way very uh, larger, in, it, in being larger than life, it's actually coming closer to reality? It's the closest to reality? Uh, I would disagree. It's closest it's to reality. It's closer than reality. Uh, yeah, so, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, w I would say that uh, everything that Aristotle said uh, holds good in cinematic grammar as well. That if you're looking at journeys, if you're looking at action, uh, in, even in its psychological sense, uh, the fact is that the word most often used on, on the sets by the director is action. That actually comes from Aristotle. He said that drama cannot exist without action. And everything we know about plot, what is being used in television, in cinema, and theater, it comes from Aristotle. Uh, so I think more so today, uh, we go back to the basics of uh, uh, dramatic storytelling, which is action and intent. Uh, uh, you know, that uh, just cannot change. The uh, aesthetics may change, but the poetics remain the same. The form can also change. Yes, that's what I mean. The aesthetics can change, but the uh, uh, poetics of uh, dramatic structure I think uh, the reason why we watch films is changing now. Uh, it's also changing with the notion of how and where we watch films. Uh, uh, cinema doesn't matter anymore for our civilization. With internet and television, uh, apart from the 100 crore club that's newly emerged, Films are on number three. So cinema is uh, cinema is, is in a more humble space, in a space where it would emerge when it's necessary. And uh, the way it will be watched is changing. There's, there's a lot of personal viewing happening with the digitization. Right, right. Uh, people going to theaters and watching the film on a large screen together uh, will, will, will slowly fade away. It will be 50 percent. What will remain is uh, watching films, carrying them on your on your pen drives, have you watching your films on laptop, on your mobile phones, while on your on you are on your move. So everything will change in terms of screenplay writing. Also, we'll have to adapt to this notion of how people are watching their films. So the language of cinema will change in India slowly with the digitization, with uh, with digitization primarily. Uh, it's, it's been a most challenging aspect. Also, with the internet and television getting. Uh, more stronger than the cinema space. We keep saying and we like to say that we love our cricket, food and cinema, but cinema would be slightly in question uh, in, in coming days. It will, it will be in question, it will be problematic if we don't adapt to new times. We have to be humble and we have to understand that uh, theatre spaces will be limited now. Uh, cinema will be watched in many other forms. Right. Uh, it will be pirated, it will be downloaded, it will be, yeah. Yeah, in fact, uh what Sachin is saying, we can see right now, means uh, because of television, uh, family movies, which were made for 15 years ago, and they were very good and they were very good, and they were very good. Because of television, 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 कुछ अच्छे तौर पर कुछ बुरे तौर पर क्योंकि वो तो हर मीडियम में होता है कुछ अच्छी फिल्में भी बनती हैं उसी तरह कुछ अच्छे शोज बनते हैं कुछ अच्छे शोज नहीं बनते लेकिन प्राइमरीली फैमिली के सारे इमोशंस को हर तरह से मतलब इनफैक्ट प्रोडक्शन वैल्यू वाइज आल्सो टेलीविजन आजकल इतने बड़े रूप में आ गया है कि कई बार एक एक एपिसोड अगर आप पांच एपिसोड देखते हैं तो उसकी कीमत फिल्म के कीमत से ज्यादा होती है और उनकी प्रोडक्शन वैल्यू उससे ज्यादा होती है एच डी क्वालिटी डॉल बी एवरीथिंग तो उन सबके होने से उन फैमिली फिल्मों का पूरी तरह से हम कह सकते हैं कि कोई नहीं बनाना चाहता अब फिल्मों के लिए उन्हें एक स्टेप ऊपर जाने की जरूरत है कि वो क्या चीज है जो वो अपने ड्राइंग रूम में नहीं देखते जिसे देखने के लिए उन्हें थिएटर में आना पड़ेगा उस सोच को लेके फिल्म बनानी जरूरी हो जाती है Actually, uh, yeah, that's the other thing. Also, a global trend where everybody is into series. A film, one single film is no longer enough. You want to yeah. watch like hours and hours of, of footage. And, you know, what, what do we do about that? <laughs> it's very consuming. I know. Well, I think it's also driven by the market. Uh, that is creating markets where the market really doesn't exist. I feel completely cheated when I watch a franchise film. And at the end of it, uh, you, you're left sort of dangling in the air like, uh, you know, a television serial. Uh, I'm not watching it at home. 
and I do not owe any allegiance to the sponsors uh, to bring me back the next day to it. When I'm paying 300 rupees to see a film, I don't want the, uh, the franchise to, uh, to say you'll have to spend another 500 rupees after a year uh, to, uh, to see this happening. So personally, uh, I, I don't like these, and I think it's way too, it's taking away from the aesthetics of cinema, even commercial cinema, if you look at it. Commercial cinema is a great art form. Uh, where, you know, it's, it's the most difficult one because uh, uh, you have to work with numbers. Uh, but uh, you are, in a way, uh, shortchanging your audiences by creating these franchises, creating all those brands and, you know, uh, uh, manipulating children to buy those toys and things. I think it's very unhealthy. No, I agree. No, you don't, you agree? Uh, of course I agree, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Why not? Let's have questions. Uh, I don't think it's time for questions, is it? Or oh, people have questions already? Yeah, there's okay. okay, fine, let's go into questions. Uh, please hold on. Please ask pointed questions and uh, precise questions and direct it to each of the speakers, whoever you want to ask. Behind. I have a question and a suggestion. My question is, what are the qualifications that you need to be a screenplay writer and what is the experience that you need for that? And my suggestion is that in soap operas, like in daytime TV, they should uh, really cut back on the loud music which drowns out the script and tells you how to feel. Uh, there's no qualification. Uh, you, uh, have to, you have to know the medium, uh, the medium of cinema. Uh, it will be better only if we have uh, training spaces, as I said, in our film school. Uh, there, there are strong courses on cinematography. We have excellent technicians passing out from our film schools and doing really well. Uh, I wish uh, writing, screenplay writing, is taught well uh, by, by, by able people in our film schools. We have excellent film schools in India. Uh, that would be the only way to strengthen the practice of screenplay writing, both for TV and films, because they are two different mediums. And we can't uh, take people, we, it's not a dosa batter, right? Like you have it and then next day you make idlis out of it. Uh, it's the act of specialization. You have to be specific, you have to know your medium, and you have to be extremely aware of the times that we are in. So if you are alert and if you know the technique and if you are ready to work hard, then that's your qualification. Uh, it's not a God's gift. She definitely. asked about loud music in television. Uh, I would answer that question because ये सवाल बहुत सारे लोगों ने बहुत बार किया है। इसका एक basic reason है क्योंकि television आपके घर में आता है, वो आपको अंधेरे कमरे में तीन घंटे के लिए बंद करके you are not uh, forced to watch only की जो आ रहा है। आप कमरे में बहुत सारी activity कर रहे होते हैं, तो हमें वो loud music उस वक्त देना पड़ता है जब आप किचन में कुकर की सीटी को बंद करने जाते हैं तब कि देखिए देखिए बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट कोई चीज आ रही है तो हमें वो ढंडन 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 नहीं देंगे तो आपको नहीं समझ में आएगा कि क्या चीज आप मिस करने जा रहे हैं तो that was that's why that loud music is necessary for our media yeah please my question to Sachin is you talked about adapting screen plays writing for the newer formats which is internet and television so what is the kind of adaptation that you're talking about? Is it about uh, adapting a new kind of stories, taking in new kind of stories, or uh, you know, going not to superstars but to actors, uh, or you know, form of writing? So what is this adaptation? No, How for, we... See, when you're writing a screenplay, superstars and casting and uh, production hazards shouldn't be uh, on your mind, first of all. What you have to check is the strength of the story. Why? The question why is very important. If you are adapting something, why am I adapting it? Uh, secondly, uh, will it have a strength to be converted into a, to, I would say, 90 minute or 100 minute film, 2 hour max. Now we don't make 3 hour films anymore, uh, uh, certain exceptions. But uh, the strength is important and also the time. Uh, is it relevant to make that film in today's time? Which is, uh, you, you, you must have seen large dreams uh, being, being huge failures on the screen because the producers and directors thought that they are time relevant, but they are not. People are not interested. Uh, it's the wrong time for them to bring in. So these are the three points which I think one should consider when one is seriously considering adapting some material uh, onto the screen. 
mostly they fail. I have never liked any adaptation uh, till now. I only love films which have strong foundation of film stories. They generate as film stories, film ideas, and uh, that's what it is. That's the truth. Uh, it will it will never change at least. Hello. I agree to what uh, you said, Sachin, that uh, cinema would be watched in various mediums and cinema hall is slipping. Uh, I want to ask precisely about Anil Kapoor's 24. Huh. Is it a cinema which is split into serials huh. or is it a TV serial or what? Uh, 24 uh, is, an, uh, is an excellent effort. Uh, to match up to all the Western TV shows that we are addicted to now these days, uh, the, you know the, the the television in the West is so so near to cinema uh, to the language that they have adapted. Amount of detailing they do, the amount of cinematic language that goes into their TV space, they are much different from our television. Uh, it's, it's it's amount it's a brain work. It's a huge uh, it's, it's it's expensive. And 24 uh, matches up to that. It's an effort to go towards that space. I really don't know the results on the market. Did it do well, uh, 24? Not as much. Not, we are, I, I'm not sure. Because what happens in India is uh, there's, a, there's a huge amount of gap between urban audience and uh, 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 non-urban audience. Uh, we shouldn't say rural audience because I uh, that would be again wrong and very generalized statement. But uh, but a, but a city audience and a non-city audience, I would say. You you can't please everyone. And television, for that matter, is more broader, right? If I'm not yeah. wrong. It's, it's, uh, cinema actually, generally is watched by, 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 by everybody. If, if, if it's a good film, there's no way why one would not watch it. Uh, actually, just Lunchbox, I was surprised. Lunchbox did really, really well. Everybody loved it. And that uh, gave us so much courage to do more films like that. So 24, as you are saying, is not really uh, copying this language of cinema, but it's it's, it's uh, going where Western uh, television is uh, at the moment. No, actually the main uh, minus point is that this audience ko cater karne ke liye 24 banaya gaya tha. Wo audience already uh, 24 dekh chuki hai in that language, in that uh, yeah. original form. So why will that audience will watch the same thing uh, with Anil Kapoor or without Anil? Probably not because of one Yeah. Hello. Can I ask hey, a question? It's very relevant. My we are, in a, we are in a literature festival. Can I ask? Yeah, yeah please. Yeah. One second. Huh? Yeah, please. Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you see, uh, there is great literature uh, in all our languages, Hindi and the regional language, right. everything. Still, I see not many films are being made on the stories by literature. Thank you. Then they uh, you, you are so interested that we want to see this story. But Satyajit Ra made a trilogy of three, three small stories of Premachan. It was a very good film. But in Hindi, there is a very little attempt to. Why do I Why do I I got your point. Reasons. I got your point. So uh, we should be thankful not many stories are being made out of Upanyasas and novels and Kadambaris that exist. Because uh, let Satyajit Rai make his own films, the time was different, his urge was different. And now imagine the amount of options I have, visual options. Satyajit Rai only had cinema, not even TV. My audience is aware, it's overexposed and completely uh, pampered by this buffet uh, of, of various formats. I have to seriously create stories which are only meant for cinema. And your upanyases and kadambaris and novels are not going to give me that cinematic strength. Uh, so yeah, it's a respect Satyajit Rai, and uh, but you have to respect my time that I'm living in. A storyteller will always be a storyteller, irrespective yeah. of the time. Uh, yeah, uh, hello. You, uh, yeah. Hi. My name is Suti. Watching movies is uh, both my passion as well as my work. I also write on movies. And therefore, my question is directed to you, uh, Sachin. You wrote and directed, directed a year. Yeah. And I was having a discussion with my friend where we said, uh, you know, if I intellectualize about it, mm. I found it very amazing. You pushed the boundaries. You had a woman who was uh, 
you know, who, was, who had dream sequences and she was fantasizing about a man it was, and it was all about... And his the, body. And his body in particular and a very good looking actor you, you casted on that. So when we interlay, I would have loved to read it as a novel probably and I, uh, you know, how, what would you say since you also wrote it and directed it, hmm. did you ever feel that probably as a novel it could have done much better? since you were, you know, pushing boundaries and it was, it was a very interesting character that Rani Mukherjee played, but probably on screen, as we see with films and TV, it's so market-driven that, uh, you know, you want to please these different groups of people, so you need to have an item song and you need to have particular no, I, dialogue. No, uh, I, I wish I could have pleased. I didn't please anyone. Uh, and so, the results are there. Uh, so this character Meenakshi, 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 the character Meenakshi, Meenakshi is here. And uh, so Aya, if you all know, is a remake of uh, my own film, uh, Gandha. Gandha has three short films. Gandha, I made it in, uh, in Marathi in 2008. And the first story in Gandha, Laganacha Vayachi Mudgi, uh, was made into Aya. And uh, Aya was an autopilot journey for me because it didn't start by my own choice. It was wonderful and I don't regret. Anurag saw Gandha, Anurag Kashyap, and he said, uh, make a film on that first part. Uh, it's a short film. And I said, no way, I won't be able to make it. It's a 20-minute film. How will I make a feature film out of that 20-minute material? So I, I went back and I met Anurag uh, after six months and he again said, Sachin, is the script ready? Uh, I said, if Anurag is saying, he said, I'll produce it immediately because I love the film. Uh, I said, why not? And uh, the story, the original 20-minute story, is a short story written by my mother. It's the only short story that she has written in her life. It's kind of autobiographical. I don't know who that man is. Uh, but definitely not my father, I believe. I know my father. And uh, so the genesis is there. So it was a short film written on a short story that my mother had written. From that film, I made a two and a half hour long film. So the journey is such. No, the novel won't work. I won't write that novel again. Um, yes. Hello? Yeah. Uh, I have two interrelated questions actually. Uh, one is that uh, can, a, can an author write both screenplays and novels? And the second is, uh, what is your opinion about uh, best-selling author insisting that they write and direct the screenplay of their novel? Hmm. Who, who's opinion? Who's, who are you directing the question to? All of, everybody? Yes, okay. Well, people can write screenplays and novels. There have been so many examples. Yeah, I've okay. done it. Uh, and second one, I don't have any opinion. But Mahesh can be. Uh, uh, best selling writers insisting that they should write screenplays of their work when they are adapted. Uh, I really don't have an opinion on that because, unless, uh, you, you know, they, they are different skills. Yes, a writer, a novelist can become a screenplay writer. But I think screenplay requires a tremendous amount of. Uh, of uh, focus, there is a specific, uh, uh, like, what is, who is your story about? And then, uh, you know, audiences are investing in that, and that's the journey that is the cause and effect pattern needs to go on. Whereas the novel could be, you know, stream of consciousness, you, you can move from various places, you can, you know, trigger off memories, you know, by smelling. Um, piece of madeleine cake and then you remember things past, etc, etc. Uh, whereas a screenplay has to physicalize things. It has to be something that people can see or hear uh, and in that sense. Uh, but I don't see why uh, a, no uh, a novelist uh, can't learn how to write a screenplay. Yeah. As you know that Television shows in India are usually synonymous with uh, SARS movie serials or family shows. Do you think it will change in the near future with soaps about different genres like in the Western world? Aap, uh, ka naam kya hai? Vansh. Vansh. Aap, uh, 
आपके घर में कौन कौन है That's what my question is. जिस जगह हम रहते हैं हमें हमारे देश के लिए सीरियल बनाते वक्त हम वेस्टर्न ऑडियंस को कंसिडर नहीं कर सकते हमारे यहाँ ज्वाइंट फैमिली का हम वो कल्चर से नहीं बिलोंग करते कि 18 इयर्स के हो गए तो अपने पेरेंट्स से अलग होकर रहने लग जाएं, बल्कि उसके बाद पेरेंट्स को हमारी ज्यादा जरूरत होती है तो हम उसी ऑडियंस के लिए सीरियल बनाते हैं तो हमारी सीरियल में वो फैमिली का रोल इम्पोर्टेंट होना बहुत जरूरी है Once also what happens is the things we tend to like uh, personally, uh, they are completely different from uh, what our fellows like, and uh, it's going to be another decade of struggle for individuals to find our stories, the kind of stories that we like, uh, to have them on our television screen. Uh, you may like something, but this India, our country is about we the people. I doesn't matter. So you don't matter. Your people surrounding you do matter a lot. Unfortunately, so your generation has to wait a little bit. I think it's the wrong time to uh, insert your own choices. It's, it's all we the people. Ham, Bharat. So, wo family, family, sector me, the personal choices chale jaenge. Yeah. Question. Question for. Good morning, all of you. Honorable, I want to ask Mehit Sathani that. Uh, Why do you choose to write play and anything else? And what would you want to change in your, our life and all our the people? Uh, well, uh, well, I uh, I'll answer the second part of your question. Is that uh, unlike uh, popular television writing, probably all television writing, I do not believe that all of you are right. That all of you, all your values are correct, and I will celebrate whatever it is you believe in. I do not believe in that. I believe in reflection, uh, and I mean when I say society, I also include myself. Uh, that I do want to challenge uh, cultural concept of what right and wrong is, and uh, stretch my audiences uh, uh, beyond uh, the complacent belief uh, that yes, you know. Uh, we are right, you know. Uh, our uh, culture is perfect. Nothing needs to change. So, in in a simple sense, I do not stroke my audience. I want to poke them. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Ma'am, my my name is Abhishek Bhardwaj, and my question is that if you see. आजकल स्टार की बहुत फेस वैल्यू है मगर वो उनकी स्क्रिप्टिंग लेवल जब मैं देखता हूँ तो उनका वो उस लेवल का नहीं है आपको ये नहीं लगता कि स्टार को अच्छी स्क्रिप्ट की मूवी करनी चाहिए जिससे क्या स्क्रीन राइटर्स को बढ़ावा मिले और जैसे उनकी फेस वैल्यू ज्यादा है तो मेरे को ये लगता है की आपका क्या मानना है थैंक यू वेरी मच You know, the few stars that I've met, they care a damn about anyone except themselves. You, you know, they have no interest. All they're interested in is what's my part and what's my image. And any script that doesn't suit that, if there is a good script they like, but it doesn't quite fulfill those needs, they will tweak it to meet the image. And I think this is a very un- unhealthy thing because obviously that's how scripts suffer, and that's why we have films. Uh, where the script is so bad, but at the same time you have this star who's propped up there. But this may be dosh hamara hi hai because hum 500 rupees, 300 rupees ki ticket lekar bhi us bina script ki film ko dekhne jaate hain aur bahut aaram se enjoy karte hain. So agar hum us film ko hit banate hain, so that star will make it again. Why not? Also, I think we, should, we need to differentiate between actors and stars, I think, at, at some point. You know, how the society is making an actor a star. It's really not looking at an actor. It's really not looking at an actor. It's a very good story. If there is any big star, then the star will learn the value of the screen. But when he knows that my film will be able to get the value of the screen, then he will be able to get the value of the screen. So definitely, he will be able to get the value of the screen. Sorry, that lady at the back. My question is that I, for the last few years, I'm not been watching uh, cinema a lot, but I have uh, some um, some series that I'm watching on TV. My question is, you know, uh, 
watch sessions and I think about films being made from families. Uh, well, families don't have so much of conspiracy, so much of other women. <laughs> फॉर्चुनेटली वहाँ कॉन्स्पिरसी नहीं होती होगी और अदर वुमेन नहीं होती होगी बट लार्जली हम कॉन्स्परेसी सभी करते हैं लेकिन उतने बड़े रूप में नहीं करते जितने उस पर हम पर्दे पे दिखाते हैं क्योंकि हमें उसे ड्रामेटाइज करना होता है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है कि जहाँ वरना एक कहावत जो आज से कई साल पहले बनी है कि जहाँ चार बर्तन होते हैं वो खटकेंगे जरूर तो इट्स ऑल अबाउट सीरियल वही है कि हम चार की जगह दस बर्तन इकट्ठे करते हैं और उन्हें एक दूसरे से टकराते हैं ताकि आप लोग को एक अच्छा मसाला और स्पाइस देखने को मिल सके हेलो सर मैं मैं चाहता हूँ स्क्रीन प्ले बेसिकली रिलेटिवली न्यू आर बहुत पहले स्क्रीन प्ले राइटर का एक सेपरेट एक्जिस्टेंस फिल्मों में हम नहीं देखते थे स्टोरी राइटर होता था स्क्रीन प्ले राइटर इसे एक्जिस्टेंस फिल्मों में लेकिन अगर हम 50 सिक्सटीज में देखें सर तो वी हैव सीन की इतना महान सिनेमा बना अलोन डायरेक्टर विद राइटर could produce that ki aaj itna sara screen play likha ja raha hai so what is that element is missing ki hum utne number ka mahan cinema nahi ban pa hum mahan cinema bana rahe hain i'm very proud of the films that are being made and we are in the transition and uh, 15 16 is not my time again i'm telling you i'm make we are all making the films which are relevant today with the efforts that we do are in sync with today's time economy uh, pace and space And uh, I won't say कि वो सिनेमा महान था और वो लोग महान है और हम कोई नहीं सेकेंडली स्क्रीन प्ले राइटिंग इज नॉट अ न्यू आर्ट फॉर्म इट्स अ फंडामेंटल थिंग सिनेमा इज बेस्ड ऑन तो आपको शायद ये शब्द भी सुनने को मिल रहा है क्योंकि आपको ये शब्द भी नया सुनने को मिल रहा है लेकिन ये शब्द है और ये पोजिशन है और वो बहुत ही रिस्पेक्टेड पोजिशन है पहले से तो मैं बस वही कहना चाहूंगा हम सबको we have to come out of this great nostalgia and how green was my valley feeling about our cinema our bharo or whatever uh, whatever this great 60s and 50s and 70s we don't care about it we are making films today and you are watching them today and you have to respect the present you can't keep questioning about the mahan past constantly you know anywhere i go i'm facing the audience this certain generation this certain mindset comes out with this question of pehle kitna maza tha are kya maza tha yaar pehle 10 filme bataiye aapko ki cinematically aapko achhi lagi bataiye mujhe khade hokar aur aaj bataiye 10 filme jo aapko nahi achhi lagi aaj ki 10 achhi filme bataiye it's all the same the percentage is same we are just trained to say that wo purana zamana acha tha get rid of it will be happy I agree completely with Sachin that we have to respect the present, but we also can learn from the past. Where today do we have the kind of relationship that Guru Dev had with Abra Dalvi or cameraman V K Murthy? We do not have that. Show me one instance where there is everywhere. If you are going to create a good cinema, the films that you like. it doesn't happen without really intense relationship and working professional relationship between a cinematographer and a director now you know about abrar albi and gurudas relationship because it's extremely overwritten published talked about in seminars here and internationally and today we don't write today we don't talk about it it of course it exists Okay. And without it, which cinema I, won't happen? I trust you. Correct. Okay. I think uh, one last question. One last question. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Yes.
I want to ask that uh, how do you see uh, reality shows as a competition to the Salzburg shows? Because uh, as you said that uh, we don't have a lot of new shows coming up on the television. So uh, like, is it a competition to the Salzburg shows? Because a lot of family people are more interested to see the reality shows. See, I only see TRT and reality shows that TRT or maybe so that TRT is very much my perspective, so I don't see any competition. All I have to do now is Mahesh and I start writing letters to each other and we publish them after 20 years. So after 50 years, we all think, yeah, the man has been interested in our money and his record has been interested. And it's a symposium that I get by it. So I think it's time to end. Also, I think, um, I think we are actually very excited that we are coming forward and we come to Twitter and social media. And in a way, I think I've been told it's time to wrap up. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so much.